Hello, my name is Eddie Hazard. And I'm Srila Goel. And we're here today at the San Francisco Palace of Fine Arts, and we're going to talk to you about a new show called It's an Amazing World. Srila's traveled all over the world to some beautiful, beautiful, interesting spots. And today, Srila, tell us, what are we going to talk about? We're talking about my travels in different parts of the world. Uh -huh. And I'm going to share pictures with you beautiful. of places I've been to. Uh -huh. Uh, Turkey, Europe, the British Isles, Russia, wow. Scandinavia, I love it. Egypt, wow. and a lot of places in Asia. Man! So we're on for a good trip, I suppose, around the world as I show you different episodes that will come up. And what is today's show we're going to talk about? Well, today we're going to talk about the palaces in Europe that were influenced by the Palace of Versailles. Wow. And there are several that try to mimic the architecture of the Palace of Versailles. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, I can't wait, Srila. So sit back, relax, ladies and gentlemen, and enjoy the show. Here we go with the Palace of Versailles. Okay. As I said, it was done in Baroque style. Uh -huh. It has got colossal murals. It's beautiful. M monumental statues and an immense collection of fine furniture inside the palace. Uh -huh. It began as a hunting lodge of Louis XIII, and then his son, Louis XIV, transformed it from the mid to 1600s onward and built onto the palace that we know today. Wow. It is now the symbol of classical French art. It's wow. so beautiful. So here are some views of the Palace of Versailles. Uh -huh. oh. This is how it looks as you approach the palace, the gates. You can see the gold from way off the gold trim on the uh, palace there. Yes, you do. And this is when you're closer, mm -hmm. the outside, and we entered from this side. Mm -hmm. This is the picture of one of the roofs, a closer view I zoomed in on. Uh -huh. And you see a lot of gold work, a lot of statues. Wow. And Is this, that real gold? I think so, I think oh. so. Well, I think I know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Louis XIV moved his court and his government to France, uh -huh. of France, to Versailles in 1682. Mm -hmm. So this palace was built around that time frame. People usually hear quite a bit about the Hall of Mirrors. Sure. And that was built in 1678. Wow. And wow. it still stands beautiful. It looks really gorgeous and grand. Mm -hmm. One couldn't see it and say that it's that old. Wow. It has 17 arches Gee. and French windows. And you can look over into the gardens from the windows wow. in, the pa in the Hall of Mirrors. It's got brilliant crystal mm -hmm. chandeliers. And when they are lit up, they look really dazzling. Oh, my goodness. Uh, very good artist there, huh? <laughs> yes, really. And then I could get a close-up of one or two of those statues. Oh, that is beautiful. And this is his bedroom. Wow. Look at all the beautiful decorations wow. on the cloth. Uh, and Man. look at this beautiful tapestry. That is, that's out of this world. So this looks like a door maybe going into his bedroom. Oh, what is that? Look at this decoration, and these are all gilded. Wow. How long would it take to do something like that? Many uh, years, I think. Man, Many years. That is just beautiful. And this is the main chapel of the palace. Mm -hmm. And I'm surprised I was able to get it all in one picture. Jeez. From the ceiling to the... Like I Lower said, you, you, you miss your calling. You should be working for National <laughs> Geographic. 
<laughs> and these are pictures that were taken many, many years ago, even before the time of digital photography. And they're beautiful. So you never knew how the pictures were going to come out until you got the films uh, developed. I can testify to that. <laughs> so more of that interior oh, of the Palace of Versailles. Oh, who's this guy posing? This is Nepo Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, at his younger age, huh? Yeah. Looks like he's playing golf. Uh, now, what was that uh, statue right there? Was we're going through the um, look like a little hallway? You were taking a picture here. Th this here. Again, it's one of those things I was too busy clicking. Oh, okay. And I wasn't listening. Mm-hmm. Cool. These are some of the murals in this on the ceiling. Beautiful. They couldn't get Leonardo da Vinci, could they? I don't think no, so. No, I don't think so. Either. <laughs> no, he, he oh man. Now this I tried to take the whole ceiling Did the best as job. I could. Did an excellent job. Let's scroll back there for a moment and see what they're doing in that picture. Okay, you got some guys flying, someone laying down, and uh, some, here's, I wonder if this is heaven and this is the hot place, or this is earth, and what do you think? Your oh, guess is as good as mine. Okay, now this is a photo that I took from the Hall of Mirrors, the view oh. that I had oh. of the exterior garden. And this was commissioned to Andre de Norti in 1661 by Jeez. Louis XIV. Boy, man. And all this work of the landscape, landscaping outdoors, and the interior of the palace was happening in parallel. Amazing. Now this one is uh, Peter Hoff. You want to tell us a little bit about this one? Yes, Peter Hoff yeah. is in uh, Russia, yeah. uh -huh. and that too was influenced by the Palace of Versailles. Amazing. It's got a lot of outside beautiful fountains and sculptures mm -hmm. that you all enjoy watching. Peter Hoff was built by Peter the Great mm -hmm. in the suburb of St. Petersburg. Here are some pictures of the interior oh, of Peter Hoff. That's beautiful. This is the throne room. And the bottom you were talking about. Mopake really. flooring. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And this is the crown room or the bedroom. Oh, wow. And this is gold too? Yeah. Jeez, jeez. At least they're gilded. <laughs> not, not, not solid gold all the way through. <clears throat> and this is a picture hall. Gold light. That is yeah. just beautiful. Everything is so glimmering and glittering when you go there. It's amazing. Going back to Peter Hoff, I have uh, two videos uh -huh. that I took of the waterfalls in action. Right. So. Now, we, we, we were talking earlier about the uh, waterfalls now. How was this possible for the waterfalls to squirt up like that? You know, what's, what's most interesting is that there were no pumps used. That is crazy. There were no pumps used, and it was just, I guess, uh, the gravity with Amazing. which they Amazing. managed to work the fountains. <laughs> well, that would, be, that would make a Okay, a this is thing. Samson and the lion. Oh, yeah. Looks like the, the lion has water coming out of his mouth. So that Samson fighting looks like a dragon, huh? <laughs> and all those pictures, there's water coming out of their mouth. There's I mean, water coming out what? of everything. Trilla, this next palace, Catherine's Palace, we used to hold parties here when I was younger. Would you like to tell me a little about this palace? You must be really old in that case because I'm, it's I'm, <laughs> several hundreds of years old. It's medication I'm on. <laughs> And Catherine's Palace, like Peterhof, uh -huh. uh, is again similar in architecture to Versailles, but it's a lot later as far as Versailles goes in comparison time-wise. Uh -huh. So again, you'll find the opulence and the grandeur, a lot of beautiful parquet flows inside the palace. Wow. And I'll share those uh, pictures with you. They're just beautiful. Thank you. Catherine's palace was built in 1756 and it was about 325 meters long. Wow. Wow. It was made for the Empress Catherine the Great. Mm -hmm. It was commissioned by Peter the Great but the form in which we see it now was 
due to the Empress Elizabeth, who was their daughter. Right. The, the chief architect here was Bartholomew Rostelli. Did she uh, change it to her own style, the daughter, or just? Yeah, I think the da daughter changed it and made it more grand mm, looking. I see. And I think I read somewhere that uh, uh, Catherine the Great was not in favor of ah. such ornate palace, ah. but she got it anyway because it was her daughter's Dada, choice, ah. I suppose. Mom was weak. <laughs> <laughs> so here are some oh. pictures of the Catherine's palace. And who are these guys here? What what is this? These are some musicians people? who greeted us by the gate, and this gate is all golden colored. Oh, that is beautiful. They met, they played when you came in the gate? When we entered. Oh, wow. I don't know whether it was something arranged specially for our tour group uh -huh. or whether this is a general welcome wow. uh, to everyone. But I guess we went in just at opening time. Wow. And so that's what we saw. What I also learned is that about 100 kilograms of gold oh my goodness. was used for the, all the gilding work in the stucco facade and wow. the s numerous statues that I f saw on the roof. Wow, that is, that is just beautiful. And here's... Oh, this is nice. Some of the exterior views. It almost looks like, um, almost like a Turkish kind of you know, design. Yes, I, I thought that too, but then a lot of Russian palaces have, palaces or cathedrals have the onion dome. Right. right. And so I don't know whether it, it has some Muslim or Mughal influence well, or possibility. not. That's but a, possibility. a lot of the palaces and structures you see in India mm -hmm. do have that Mughal influence. Amazing. Right. And, and what is more, this here? More of the outside. Now what what is this? Is this flowers? Or is that just like a I think cement? this part here probably was grass. grass. It's been a while so I don't remember exactly. Just beautiful. The beauty. You know that okay. keeps people coming to your where your country is the beauty of what you're showing the people. Exactly. This is what the, we're about. These kinds of things are very difficult to find all over the world. Oh my and you have to go to Russia to see these kinds of palaces. The style of architecture is Rococo. Ah. It's a late 18th century artistic movement, sort of developing beyond Baroque, mm. where the Baroque architecture was very symmetrical. Rococo remained just as ornate, but there was an asymmetric mm -hmm. design mm -hmm. involved there. It's beautiful. And they used a lot of uh, pla pastel colors, light mm -hmm. blue, cream, mm -hmm. and they still had the curves and the richness of Baroque, but there's that little difference of asymmetry and uh, there was a lot of tapestry and beautiful mm. wall painting. One of the things that they insisted on when we were entering the palace was that we wear overshoes. Mm -hmm. There's so much of parquet work mm -hmm. that's there inside the palace, oh. beautiful woodwork mm -hmm. on the floors that we're not allowed to step on them oh. with our shoes. Mm. So we all had to wear overshoes. Over your shoes. Can yeah. you get athlete's foot from that when over shoes? I don't know. No, you had your own shoes, oh, and then oh, you wore okay. the shoes over your oh, shoes. Oh, that's good. Cool. <laughs> well, maybe it was a strong, I don't know. The, uh, they were really thick, thick plastic. Wow. And this is the Rococo staircase. Wow. That you enter the whole palace with to go down, to go up to the other rooms. That is beautiful. What, what, what is it? Is that marble or what, what is it made out of? I think it's marble. Marble, yeah. Yeah. It is. You know, if you're going to do it, do it right. Yeah. That's what I say. If you're going to do it, do it right. Okay. Now, the next picture I have is the Grand Hall or the Hall of Lights. Mm -hmm. It's about 1,000 square meters. Wow. And it is taking the whole width of the palace. Gee. So wow. you have a view of the garden on both sides. Mm. Oh, that is just beautiful. Look at the elaborate parquet flooring. Oh, my goodness. 
and as you can see it's empty because no one was allowed to step on it other than the part that they had cordoned off and they had overshoes whoever we stepped had overshoes on it. here we go these are the pictures i like how those guys were able to take the pictures laying and on the how back. exactly that yeah. that's what i don't know laying on your back doing that like thing i like i think michelangelo he did and the painting problem. in the sistine chapel one of what lying problem. on his back this is the beautiful amber room Oh, that is beautiful. Now, this is all amber in there, right? It's all amber, I'm beautiful. told. Beautiful. I, I wouldn't know the difference if it were not amber. When you get real close to uh, amber, you have to see if there's any insects in there, you know, like in Jurassic Park. And I've, seen, I've seen jewelry with little insects in yeah. it, but over here I didn't know much about insects being in the amber, so I never looked. <laughs> that is beautiful. Was anyone allowed to walk in that room there? We were just, like I said, we were behind the cord. Even that, my goodness. My goodness. <laughs> Every room, we were watched. We were really being watched that wow. we don't step out of bounds. Mm. Well, I, I think they, they were looking to make sure nobody took something in there right. that wasn't there. Ex exactly. <laughs> Not only that, and if you sat on it, and if people kept sitting on chairs and things like that, they'll wear off. So yeah. these are ancient things, and that's why they have to it preserve them. a long them. time. What <laughs> and these, this, this, I think, is a fireplace, oh. a heater, a heater, and this has deaf tiling. Wow. Srila, this next one, Lindehof in Germany, is a beautiful castle. Tell me a little bit more about this castle. Now, the Palace of Lindehof is a lot smaller. A palace, huh? Yeah, than the ones we saw in Russia uh -huh. and even Versailles. Uh, King Lud Ludwig, who constructed it, was very fond of the king that made Palace of Versailles. He liked the design? He idolized him. Oh. And so this is a miniature Palace of Versailles. Amazing. Yeah. Did they ever meet? I don't think so, but <laughs> could be. Could be. I don't know. It's too far back for me to remember. Well, let's take a look at this palace here. And now I like to talk about a very small German castle in comparison to the other two mm -hmm. that I showed you. This is also influenced or inspired by the Palace of Versailles. Wow. And this is in Bavaria. It's called Linderhof Castle. This palace was a lodge that was built by King Maximilian II of Bavaria. Mm -hmm. And it was inherited by his son, Ludwig II, uh -huh. in 1864. And it was Ludwig who enlarged it uh -huh. to the size that it's now. Mm. Actually, first he began enlarging it, but then the palace that he inherited from his dad, the Königshausen. That's good enough for me. <laughs> tore it down and built it from scratch, the wow. Lind Linderhof Castle. Do you think there's animosity there? Or? I don't know if it's animosity or craziness or whatever, but Probably both. even here in this country we see brand new buildings getting torn down when it, the business gets sold and they rebuilt it, so it could be something Very similar to that. Very true. And from what I see, the cost they they tell you is oh 8,460,937 marks wow. in their currency. I don't know the equivalent in I know it's a lot. in dollars and what the exchange rate was that time. I think time, they're a little more than, uh, than our yeah. dollar. My goodness. Yeah, well, those times oh. when it was built in, oh, 18, well, in the 1800s. Oh, well, that, it'd be outrageous today. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I mean, this kind of work you don't find today. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, Not the, at all. These it's are lost only art. ancient, beautiful creations. It is a very lost art. So here, uh, the Palace of Linderhof is a lot smaller than the Palace of Versailles, as I had mentioned before. Sure. And the reason that it was built in the pattern of the Palace of Versailles is that King Ludwig idolized Louis the Fourteenth. Really? France. The Hall of Mirrors in this it's palace is a lot smaller, but it beautiful. looks just beautiful. It's still gorgeous. That is beautiful. And it's got all the characteristics of 
what oh. we saw in the Palace of Versailles, the gold, the tapestry, the arches, the furniture. Oh, that is beautiful. You know, to have an idea and then uh, put it out there like that and then to, yeah. to build it. Oh, and these are some of those chairs you can't sit on, right? No, you can't sit on yeah. and neither can you sleep on some of the beds. <laughs> I just jump up and down. And <laughs> <laughs> now, this was Ludwig's bedroom. Oh, that's pretty. He was just kind of a simple guy, not too not You too know, they, they say the blue color is royal blue. Mm. I guess this is a royal blue. Mm, I, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I thought it was <laughs> a little darker blue. Yeah. Maybe it was his royal blue. Maybe. I think. But he was kind of an easy to go on guy. It doesn't look like uh, the other beds we were looking at. Bedrooms. Yeah. Look at the beautiful walls. Wow. All gilded. This More is still examples. the bedroom. This is still the bedroom. No, it's some other room. Oh, oh okay. So all those rooms, those French, they all had mirrors. Everybody wants to see what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a mirror everywhere. Yeah, the tapestry is amazing too. Yeah. What the surprise was in this particular palace was that the king wanted his own blue grotto, just like the one in Capri. Uh huh. And. It had a small lake and a waterfall, and it had the country's first electric lighting system wow. that could even change color according to the mood of the opera or whatever was being Amazes, shown there. Amazing. And this was in the 1800s. This was, yeah. Yeah, yeah 18, that is amazing. They're, they're, they copied them back then because you think changing lights, Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but and, and what was amazing. further beautiful is that the scene in the background that you saw was from the first act of Richard Wagner's Tannhauser. Wow. And this is a really small grotto, really beautiful, good sound effects. And I think and if I remember right... it had a waterfall right, in there, you were saying. Right. If I remember right... It's beautiful. It could seat about 24 people, but generally it had an audience of one. The king? The king. <laughs> and the king used to enjoy feeding the swans in there ah. while he ah. was sitting in his shell boat. Ah. Who are those gentlemen? I guess his roar. Yeah, that's right. That was was his roar. <laughs> He's all suited up. Ah. Yeah. What well, would you row call him? An oarsman? What do you call him? That's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> but he didn't have far to go. It's like just yeah, a couple of feet. Yeah. It, it it was relatively small. It wasn't enormous. I bet. I was but it was very there? beautiful and very oh, unique. I can and I don't think such a grotto was there in the Palace of Versailles. Oh. Yeah, this was his own idea. Oh. Hmm. Really, those were very nice pictures of the palaces that we saw. I can't wait to uh, see um, further uh, pictures and video of other travels that you have in mind there. Yes, I plan to continue on the theme on palaces and castles Beautiful. in different parts of the world. Uh -huh. And I think for the next episode, we'll uh, do the British island palaces and castles. Beautiful. And then we'll see, maybe we'll go into Asia ah. and see some of the castles in that area. So for now, mm -hmm. that's all I have in mind in addition to my future trips and other trips I've taken where I might just not do palaces and castles, I might show you the other features in other countries. I can't wait. Yeah. Was well, there anything else you'd like to say, Srila, while I were here? Well, I customize tours. Ah. And I have two customized ready to go. I'm signing up people. Where are we going? We're going to Sri Lanka and Myanmar. Wow. Two okay. beautiful tropical places. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, people will really enjoy the experiences I have planned for them. I've seen the pictures here. It's very lovely and beautiful. It's like being in heaven if there's heaven. Here. It's just <laughs> really beautiful pictures. How long is the uh, trip? Sri Lanka is 16 nights. Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, Myanmar is 11 nights. 11 nights. And how do we contact you? Well, I'll show the contact information in the bottom of the screen. I can't wait. And we'll look forward to hearing from everybody. <laughs> well, you're going to look forward to hearing from both of us. We're here at the Palace of Fine Arts here in San Francisco. My name is Eddie Hazard. And I'm Srila Goel. That's right. So until next time, have a good day.